People fleeing from a burning city. These images filmed in Kunduz city on Sunday led to panic in nearby Afghan city Mazar-e-Sharif on Monday. The Taliban claimed they were attacking Mazar-e-Sharif, the capital of Balkh province, from four sides Monday morning. The claim was false. The only fighting reported was some 20 kilometers from the city. But the rumor traveled fast. We the Taliban are coming into Mazar city. It is impacting our business. People are escaping. 50% of the shops are closed. Although Taliban are still on those cars, people are scared. The usually busy marketplaces shut down. Busy streets in central Mazar were deserted. People lined up in banks and at ATM machines to withdraw money. It did not help that another capital, Erbak of Samangan province, was overrun by Taliban on Monday. It was the sixth provincial capital to collapse since Friday. Five of the six are in the north or northeast of the country. The militants now control most of the north. The fear in Mazar was palpable. I have a shop, but nothing is selling. Taliban are coming. The city is collapsing. Nobody is buying anything. People are worried that the Taliban can come any time. Anyone with money has escaped. The poor are left behind. Witnesses said that during the panic in Mazar, they saw few security forces. Anyone who could afford it tried to escape. Travel agents reported double the business they have on a normal day. Even airlines doubled their flights. Usually we have two to three flights daily from Mazar to Kabul, but it has increased to five to six. In the past, the ticket was $85 one way, but now it has increased to $113. Since the situation deteriorated today, 60 to 70 people arrived in my agency to buy tickets to fly to a secure area. in the afternoon, the Afghan military released a video on social media saying it had repulsed the Taliban attack on Dedadi district on the outskirts of Mazar. The northern capital is safe for now, but the fear and panic in the north remains. Aisha Tanzim, BOA News, Kabul.